Goosebumps is rated Y7 because it may be too spooky for kids under seven. Hello, Goosebumps fans. I think it's going to be exclusive for you, but let's talk about what Goosebumps Aussie fan has just shown, which I bet this might be late by a few days. But even so, the interesting part has to be the fact that at what cost, man? At what cost? So he's just showed that there is some new merchandise, and it was cute that he said Kmart. I miss Kmart. I miss it so much. I mean, I'm, I had, I was in school when it had its final day sale and some bastard took what I was waiting for. They actually slashed the price and go down. And it's funny where if someday I meet the dude, he's like, yeah, oh, are you party four? Yeah, I bought it. I bought it for 20 bucks. I'm sorry to tell you guys this, but I will punch him in the gut. I seriously will. I will, and I won't feel any remorse because I was getting my high extra learning and you stole that crap from me. <laughs> it's not really stole. It's like you were able to get it and I wasn't there because, well, they couldn't just wait until Christmas time or when I come back. Anyways, besides me being selfish. So when it came to... The Goosebumps merchandise, I'm like, that's cool, that's awesome. We got shirts, got freaking hats. Was it a hoodie? Maybe. A patch, um, keychain. That's awesome. I have no idea where that is in America, though. It's like, yeah, I have no idea where that is in America. So we'll have to see for ourselves because, well, as you guys can figure and see, I do, if I do spot anything Goosebumps wise, I actually kind of report it to you guys. When I see Goosebumps books, I'm like, hmm, let's see what they have this month. Yeah, they don't update worth a darn. It's like, oh my gosh, they don't update worth a darn. Walmart or Target. It's like, oh, it's like, you know, go to Books and go to Books a Million. Oh yeah, sure, sure go to books. Oh my gosh, that's easier said than done. Barnes and Noble. I do know where the Bonds and Noble is, but I don't know if I can actually drag myself to it because of secret racial issues that they have. <laughs> yes, like, I'm sorry, but can't really actually support them if they have some messed up racial issues that haven't been addressed and ch they changed their ways. So with that said, when I see Goosebumps, right now all I saw was a bunch of books. They are kind of lacking... Spirited Halloween has Goosebumps masks. Oh my gosh, I gotta show you that. And I didn't see any shirts because, well, if they did have shirts, I would be like, whoa, so no shirts, no socks. So yeah, who knows? It might've just came out this week and maybe Spirited Halloween got it, but I'm pretty sure they might be gone by now or they're gonna be gone. So not sure. They could have it. And if so, yes, <laughs> because they got the Goosebumps mask somehow. Do they just have a secret stock of them? Do they still sell the masks? I'm not sure if they even still sell the masks. I mean, the people who created them, I'm pretty sure they're gone. So it's like, hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. I think they did stop it because Scholastic. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, is that with him, with his situation is that they got merchandise. Awesome. What about your books? Still delayed. At what cost? Having merchandise at what cost? I think is a, even though it's kind of a messed up thing to say, but I think it's better that the books come out on time and the shirts, which I guess the funnier part has to be the fact of, what if it took them this long to actually get this merchandise out? And it's like, huh. It's like, yeah, well, shouldn't all of us have the merchandise? So it's most likely specifically for them. So that's good news. Maybe this is a little bit of, we're sorry. We're so sorry. We're sorry that the books are coming late, but here's something to hold you over. And I'm like, mm, that's good, but maybe you should speed it up too, you know? Because if you realize that the books aren't coming that fast for them, maybe you could actually speed up the process. Speed up the process, and that's nice that you guys did that for them. They deserve to actually have some support, but still, though, it's kind of messed up where it's like, yeah, and where are the books right now for them? It's like, I would love to hear Goosebumps Aussie fan talk about the newest book, you know? I got Goosebumps Godzilla talking about it. Thank you, man. But it's like, 
What about the freaking king right here? He deserves to talk about it. He deserves to be able to tell us a review about it. And he's like, what, one or two books behind? I think he's just one book behind. They are. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's like more than anything. It's like, come on, Scholastic. It's like, yes, I know previously he kind of said, yeah, f this. This is not a kid friendly channel anymore. I kind of think he changed his ways. <laughs> and if so, come on, Scholastic. Do the right thing, at least. Give him a copy. Come on. I mean, I know it's messed up, but in the end, it's like, give him a copy. He's your biggest fan. He has all the Goosebumps stuff around. So do, do a solid, okay? If anyone you're going to freaking support, which note, they actually, well, never mind. Pixie Owl is the one who actually chose people that they're like, we're sponsored. Scholastic, however, never chose anyone to sponsor. I never seen anything of where they actually gave even the kid YouTubers. So I'm like, okay, hold on, hold on. You gotta give, you gotta be kidding me. So you won't support him, but even worse, you don't support the damn kids. You don't support the kids that freaking kind of run YouTube right now with millions upon millions of views and yet you didn't send them free books you didn't go custom like the old school and send them books so they can all the kids will be like oh and I'm I know that maybe the first movie and second movie you guys did they did something maybe but it's like come on now you should have actually already been like here's the new book series that we're doing and he gave you a free copy or a few copies of first few which i doubt they could but it's like here's a copy and it's like, it's like you would figure that you guys would know how to actually sell your books and yet i'm pretty sure if you try to look up any kid youtuber they don't actually have whatsoever a book thing that happens you're telling me that Hasbro is like one step ahead of you, which of course, of course, of course, it wants to pay you guys. Your freaking merchandise kind of sucks. And again, I'm going to keep on saying this. Get rid of that damn divorce and get back with Parachute Press. Apparently, they know what they were doing when it came to merchandising. Did they get some more money secretly? Yes. But were you still getting money off of it? Yes. So it's like, I don't see where the problem is get them back and just kind of crank up the freaking merchandising a little bit more and if you need even more help how about you look at the video that i talked about so many freaking companies that are so craving to do it i mean i even asked freaking pop, um funko pop i asked someone who was actually part of funko pop and he just gave me a freaking gif of slappy yeah so I think it's not even Funko Pop who is doing this. It's Scholastic. And that's the sad part. It's, like it's Scholastic who is trying to do merchandising. And they only care about the books. Because that's what really matters. But even so, they sometimes do the merchandising. When it's like, remember back in the day when they had merchandising up the wazoo? All parachute press, baby. All parachute press. So it's like, yeah, either get parachute press back or whoever the hell is doing the Harry Potter stuff, do, 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 get them to freaking be a part of Goosebumps. Get them to do it because they're actually getting to the point of where they're getting it tapped out. All they're doing is just the same old, same old. I mean, it doesn't seem to me. It's like, yes, in the Fantastic Beasts, yes, I get it. It got a new franchise, but it's not doing too hot. And hopefully, the guy who plays us. Um, Dumbledore's brother at least I think he's out of hot water with thank goodness for you guys but still there's got to be someone in that company who's like oh I remember Goosebumps sure I can do something awesome with them that's all you gotta do that's all we're asking you to do either get back with freaking Parachute Press or find someone that is doing merchandising or your stuff and get them to be like well we have one person who's actually willing to do it or I don't know. I'm just telling, just saying that a lack of merchandising, even though it's kind of funny reading that article, the fact of, oh, but there's so many characters. We have no idea how the merchandising could even work. And blah, blah, blah. it's like Curly seemed to be like the first mascot. Then Slappy became the mascot. And of course, yes, we have mini monsters. Look at Pokemon. They have freaky damn mini monsters, too. They're not having issues with merchandising, are they? 
and you're telling me you guys had issues with merchandising? Man, Pokemon came like at least one or two years later. All you had to do is look at them and be like, what are they doing? Copy that shit. <laughs> copy that shit. <laughs> it's like copy every single thing Pokemon is doing. Pokemon cards, freak it. We got freaking collector goosebumps cards, man. The pop, I mean, um, uh, what was it called? The freaking coins, uh, pogs. Pog, get free goosebumps pogs up in this shit. You already did pencils, papers, pens, and everything else. It's like, just use the damn logo and you guys are doing it now. It's like, get some pens up in this shit. Get some freaking school supplies up in this shit. It's like, come on. Learn from your past and try to bring that into the damn future. The end. I'm gone. Have a scary day. Have a scary night. <laughs>